Hey guys, this is Ankiran Ghosh and you are watching Student Circle YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how you can clone an Android app from GitHub using Android Studio. So without any further ado, let's get started. First of all, you have to open Android Studio on your PC or laptop device. Then you have to cancel the loading project and you have to go to the Android Studio home page and click on configure button. Under configure there are many options, you have to click on settings. As soon as you click on the settings a new window will appear. There are many options as you can see on the screen. There are many options. Go to git. There is option named git. You have to go to git and path to git executable. There is a location. It will automatically detect the location. You don't have to copy and paste the location where the git is installed on your computer or on your laptop whatever it is. You don't have to copy the location. It will automatically detect the location if git is already installed on your computer. If git is not installed, github is not installed on your computer, you can install github by just by just searching on google download git. Here it is, I have already downloaded it for my computer, downloaded and already installed it. The installation process is pretty simple just like any other software, it is available for mac os, windows, linux, unix, all the basically all the operating systems. Then you have to click on test and it is as you can see on the screen git executed successfully if it is not executed successfully on your device then you have to cross check it maybe some errors are there you have to fix it then you can click on test again you have to close it and there are many options here check out project from version control the third option from the first the third option you have to click on check out project from version control yes the third option click on it and cvs git and many other option click on git you have to enter the you have to enter the url here the repository url so first you have to copy the url or to clone the cloning url so you have to go to the repository first it will automatically paste it or you can paste it yourself also so this is the location and this is the url you have to paste a url here So I am going to Google Chrome browser and here is the repository. The so link is given here. I will not copy directly from there. I will copy it from clone or download button. I will click on it and I will copy the link simply. And let me minimize it and <coughs> paste it here. No suggestions. Okay. Paste. <coughs> Then I will click on test and connection successfully established. That means the connection between this and the repository has been established. Now I can now I can successfully clone it. So I will click on clone and I'll have to wait for a few more minutes. Depends on your device, depends on your computer specifications, laptop specifications, how fast it will clone and your internet connection it depends basically it depends on your internet connection how fast it will take to clone how how much duration it will take to clone so i think it has it is cloning maybe it has already cloned it i clicked on the background button by mistake don't click it Wait, yes it has already cloned and it will automatically pop up the new window the programming window will script window will automatically pop up and you can just edit the code according to yourself the project setup successfully rendered successfully synced and you can just edit now whatever you want to do you can do it now with the code make project module app whatever you want to do you can do now because the cloning has been successfully done from the github repository now you can build app build apk whatever you want you can do it you can just edit just remember the version just remember to check the version of your android studio and the code and also that applications script kotlin or java there are two languages make sure the language is proper 
So this was all about today's video. Please like and share this video and subscribe my channel for regular updates related to technology, cybersecurity, and ethical hacking. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for my next video.